Hello, welcome to my student support system. In today's class, we will discuss about tonsillitis in children. Which this is very common childhood disorder. This lecture is in English, and if you want to study in Hindi, just click on I button, and you will get link of Hindi lecture. And you can visit my channel also. What is tonsillitis? Tonsillitis. is inflammation of tonsils these are two oval shaped pads of lymphoid tissue at the back of our throat one tonsil each side this is one this is another so when they are inflamed they are known as this uh, disorder is known as tonsillitis what causes tonsillitis tonsils are our first line of defense against illness they produce white blood cells that help our body to fight infection the tonsils combat bacteria and virus that enter our body through mouth or nose however tonsils are also vulnerable to infection from these invaders tonsillitis can be caused by virus such as common cold virus or by bacterial infection such as strep throat viral tonsillitis viruses are the most common cause of tonsillitis the viruses that causes common cold are also causes tonsillitis but other virus can also cause it which includes rhinovirus eb virus hepatitis a virus and hiv bacterial tonsillitis around 15 to 30% of tonsillitis cause cases result from bacteria most often it is streptococcus bacteria which causes strep throat but other bacteria can also cause tonsillitis bacterial tonsillitis is more common in children between the age 5 to 15 signs and symptoms of tonsillitis how you will get to know that the child is having tonsillitis number 1 sore throat means there is pain in the throat difficulty or pain while swallowing scratchy sound voice bad breath fever chills sometime ear ache stomach ache headache stiff neck jaw and neck tenderness from swollen lymph nodes lymph nodes are also swelled tonsils that appear red and swollen tonsils that have white or yellow spots that we have seen in previous picture now how we will diagnose that it is tonsillitis diagnosis is based on physical examination of the throat throat swab culture by gently swabbing the back of throat to identify the cause of throat infection apart from this we can do complete blood count and blood culture which may affect the treatment option for bacterial tonsillitis then we start treatment a mild case of tonsillitis doesn't necessarily require treatment especially if a virus such as common cold causes it but treatment for more severe cases of tonsillitis may include specific antibiotics for bacterial tonsillitis for recurrent tonsillitis surgery may be needed that is tonsillectomy what nursing management can be provided for tonsillitis in mild cases of tonsillitis do not require any hospitalization so antibiotics may be prescribed that are given on opd basis parents are advised to provide proper nutrition and timely medication as prescribed but if surgery is needed the children and parents are prepared psychologically pre operatively vital signs are monitored and recorded parents are explained about the disorder treatment procedure and all the questions are answered to alleviate their anxiety level 
proper assessment should be done for other respiratory functions after surgery proper positioning should be provided to avoid aspiration the child is kept in prone position with head turned to one side after gaining consciousness the child may be kept in sitting position oral hygiene should be maintained with sterile technique vital signs are monitored and recorded provide antibiotics and iv fluids as prescribed the child is discouraged to cough to prevent bleeding other nursing interventions include all the nursing care of a hospitalized child that we have discussed in the previous lecture under heading nursing care of hospitalized child in the lecture child health nursing you should also watch that lecture and you can find the link after clicking on i button thank you you can visit my facebook page my student support system for pro making your notes you should visit blogger my nursing students dot blogs word dot com and you can follow for latest update on twitter instagram and facebook group nursing notes thank you have a nice day